Roman Empire was unstoppable force until it suddenly wasn't. You see, the survival of the Empire depended on its expansion, and if it stopped expanding, it would start declining. The halt of the Roman advance is credited to the Battle of Teutoburg in the ni year 9 AD between the Romans and a coalition of Germanic tribes brought together by the traitor Arminius. The Roman battle formation was known as the Column. The soldiers would ram their opponents with shields and then stab their comrades opponents. The formation itself left one flank of the Roman troops vulnerable, as an attack from the Roman side or back could cripple the column and force the Romans to fight on two fronts, which would exhaust the Romans and not give them time to react and defend themselves, and they would lose the battle. To solve this, the Romans used German cavalry to defend their flanks. In the Battle of Teutoburg, the leader of the Germanic coalition had received a Roman military education and therefore knew the Roman tactics. When a thick German insurgency appeared, the Romans sent three legions, three cavalry divisions, and six cohorts of auxiliary troops. Arminius then turned the German cavalry against the Romans, thereby flanking them. This was not advantageous to the Romans. No. This battle consists of hacking, stabbing, and blunt trauma. Stabbing and hitting people with heavy weapons causes eternal bleeding. Internal bleeding is, as the name suggests, when somebody is bleeding inside the body. This can be especially dangerous, since the bleeding cannot be stopped without advanced medical equipment. And our sources suggest that there was a distinct lack of this in the Battle of Teutoburg. Also, there are no sources that document the biological process of hacking. However, one can assume that it will heal people due to blood loss. In these two scenes, the soldiers get shanked. One would assume they would get stabbed in the heart, but in reality, stabbing someone in the heart is extremely difficult, with the vital organ being situated in between the fourth and the fifth rib. It's easier to stab the aorta, which is in the soldier. If we look at the exact place where these soldiers were stabbed, it checks out. A stab wound into the aorta would also kill someone very fast since it is where all the blood exits the heart.
Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden.